Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another video today. And of course, this is now the Palantir News Network. So here's your daily dose of Palantir stock news. Like we always do, we're going to take a quick look at the market overall. We're going to look to see how Palantir traded today on the Robinhood app. We will do some updated technical analysis, see if I was correct in my previous TAs. But before we do that, I actually found a great article from Simply Wall Street that just came out today, hot off the presses. And they are showing you how they are calculating what they feel is the fair valuation or the fair stock price for Palantir compared to where Palantir is trading right now. So stay tuned for that in the video. And then like we always do, we will end the video with the option flow data to see how the big money investors were buying calls or puts on Palantir today. And I'll give you a little spoiler. Some of these options total up to over a million dollars in calls. So stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it. Looking at the market heat map here, you can see kind of a mixed bag today, mixture of green and red on the board. Big tech did not have a great day. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Amazon, all down. Tesla had a big day today, up 4.3%. Knocking on the door, almost gonna get to 700. Can we do it tomorrow before 2020 ends? I don't know. If it doesn't happen, I'm sure we'll do it early in 2021. The semiconductor sector had a great day today, except for Intel, all were green. Visa, MasterCard in the green. So overall, mixed day, depending on what stocks you were trading or investing in. But let's get right into it. Let's take a look at Palantir. So here's the Robin Hood graph on Palantir today. You can see it was an okay day today. It was green. It was up 1.8% to close the day. After hours, we're pretty much flat. We're down 0.2%, but that's literally five cents based on its current share price. But early in the morning, we were up almost 5%, 4.5% within the first hour of market open. But then it said, you know what? Eh, we're just gonna slowly melt away the rest of the day. Like I said, we were in the green all day. We did close the day green, so that's a win, but we weren't hugely green, only up 1.8%. Let's take a look. Because overall in the week, you can see we're not having a great week on Palantir, still down 13% on the week, and on the month, still down 3%. But we are green in the three-month graph, still up over 150%. Let's take a look at the option chain to see how juicy the Palantir options are still. So if we take a look at the at-the-money put option, if you wanted to run the wheel strategy for options on Palantir, for example, we're looking at a January 8th expiration, so a little over a week away. For the 25 strike put, you would collect $117 in premium. So $117 divided by 2,500, you would have to put up in collateral. That would give you a return on risk of 4.68%. It's not bad, it's not the best I've seen. If you see my earlier video that I put out the night on Riot, that was over 10% for the same data expiration. So it's juicy, but you can get more juice in other tickers if you're just looking for that squeeze. Let's get right into it. Let me show you this news article that I saw that I found very interesting today. So here's an article I found again on Yahoo Finance, but this is written by a website called Simply Wall Street. And what they're doing is they're gonna show you a calculation of how they're doing a valuation method to estimate the attractiveness of Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, as an investment opportunity by taking the expected future cash flows and discounting them to their present value. So this article gets a little bit complicated and really they're showing you their math and what they're doing. And you really don't need to understand that because I'm gonna give you the punchline in just a second, but they're using the discounted cash flow or the DCF model on this occasion. And they even say, before you think you won't be able to understand it, just read on. It's actually much less complex than you'd imagine. If you're interested in looking at the numbers and how they did this, you can search this article on Yahoo Finance under Palantir, but you can see they are looking at the 10-year free cash flow estimates. So you have to keep in mind, they are guesstimating some numbers to do this calculation. So it's not based on past numbers. It's based on some assumptions for their future numbers. They're also looking at the terminal value and the present value of terminal value. And you can see some of these equations that they're using based on the numbers they're putting in. Well, here's the punchline. 
So they're showing you that the total value or the equity value after you do all the math is the sum of the present value of the future cash flows, which in this case is $36 billion. And then in the final step, they're going to divide the equity value by the number of shares outstanding. So the current share price is $24.70. The company appears around fair value at the time this article was written or today, but based on their math, their fair value calculation, as you can see right here, is $20.59. So that says, if you believe their numbers, if you think they were a good estimate, that currently Palantir is overvalued. And it's overvalued by about 20%. Because the current share price is $24.66. And they believe that a fair value for the stock is $20.59. You saw some of my other videos. There was the analyst from Credit Suisse that also was a little bit bearish on the stock because he also felt that Palantir was a little bit overvalued based on their sales figures and revenue, I believe. So this kind of supports that Credit Suisse analyst in that the stock is a little bit overvalued. But I will tell you, in general right now, I'd be willing to bet that most stocks are overvalued in the stock market right now. It's just a matter of by how much. So this is about 20% overvalued. Let me know what you think about that. Do you agree with that or disagree with that? If you own Palantir less than $20.59, if you own it for less than fair value, then according to this article, it sounds like you actually have a steal. You bought the stock on sale when it was undervalued. So let me know if you have shares less than $20.59, because then you might be looking pretty good right now. Let's take a look at the technical analysis chart on Palantir to do some updated TA. So here's the trading view graph on Palantir Technologies. You can see yesterday, I thought we were gonna have a little bit of a sell-off, at least go down to this area of support at around $24. And then depending on how big the sell-off is, we might go down and test the next area of support around $21. Today, like I said, was kind of a flat day. Didn't really move much. You can see this green candle is pretty thin. So that doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. I'm just gonna extend this out until tomorrow to see what happens because we still might have a little bit of a pullback tomorrow to close at the week. We'll have to wait and see, because it looks like right now, Palantir needs to make a decision. Is it gonna rise above this area of resistance at about $25 and some change, or is it gonna have a little bit of a pullback down to at least $24? The RSI is not really helping us that much because it's right in the middle, not really overbought or oversold. The other thing that's not really helping is the past week or so of trading, actually past the past two weeks, there hasn't been a lot of volume on Palantir. You can see by these small bars compared to back in end of October and early December. So it seems like maybe, maybe some of the hype around Palantir is slowly fading away because it doesn't seem like a lot of shares have been traded lately compared to about two to three weeks ago. So who knows? Maybe there's a new meme stock in town. Maybe that's GameStop. I don't know. There's a certain subreddit that likes to meme and hype up stocks. So maybe they've gotten bored with Palantir for now. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm still gonna hold to my prediction here that we might have a little bit of a pullback at least to $24. I'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be the last trading day of 2020. Maybe the market will say, let's end 2020 on a green note. And maybe we'll have a little bit of a green rally on Palantir, but you can see, We've had five red days on Palantir before today. It wasn't really looking that great ever since we had this breakout of this wedge pattern here. Let's end the video by looking at the option flow data to see what the big money did on Palantir. So here's the trade UI option flow data for Palantir today. You can see 35 sweep orders came in and right here, 28 were call and seven were put options. But if I scroll down here, Again, these red boxes represent put options that were bought. The green boxes represent call options that were bought. I want to draw your attention to these two trades right here. So right early in the morning, actually around 10 a.m., within 30 minutes of the market opening, you can see this big order came in for $700,000. And that is a call option that was bought for a $50 strike. However, these are leaps. This is a January 2023 option. So some institution or someone with a lot of cash is betting that Palantir is gonna at least get to $50 or more 
in the next two years by January of 2023. And then right after that, literally three minutes later, another order came in for another $350,000 for the same option, the 50 strike for January, 2023. So in the matter of three minutes, over a million dollars came in to buy 50 strike call options on Palantir. So someone is thinking that Palantir is going to have a great two years and the share price is basically going to double because we are currently trading in the mid 20s. Some of these other ones are more shorter dated options. Here's a few options that expire tomorrow. These were also call options for $24.50 for a small amount of money for about $26,000 each. But overall, like I said, more call options came through than put options. It seems like the big money was mostly making bullish bets on Palantir today. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Let me know what you think about Palantir. Do you have shares or options open on it right now? Make sure you join our Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Reddit. And I hope you end 2020 on a green note. And as always, happy trading.